Hello, my stamping friends. It's Diane Evans with StampingWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if this is one of your first times joining me on YouTube, make sure that you do subscribe and hit the bell below and you'll get notified immediately as soon as I upload a new video. So today I've been asked um, to show how um, a chucky is made. Um, a chucky is a tool, and the only reason I say I give it the name of chucky because that's what somebody went and called it when they gave me one. So what I want to do is I've been asked to do a video on what a chucky is. Um, you could call it anything that you want to. Um, this tool was apparently, and you know what, I'm not sure somebody said it was a Gina sort of thing. I have no idea. But this is for our Stamparatus, and I'd like to call it actually a Peggy, but we'll call it a Chucky because that's what she had said. So I had a customer that sent me what she called a Chucky, and the story behind that was she was trying to do something with her Stamparatus, or somebody was trying to do something with her Stamparatus, and they were having problems with their hands because it was getting really... Um, they had arthritis in their hand so it was her husband that went and designed this particular tool so let me just switch on down to my desktop and i'm going to show you what that is so when you see me um when i'm using my stamparatus you see me use this thing and i call it my chucky now this one's a really great one it it's rounded and everything else but this is you know, zero waste, this is really a good thing to make. So um, I had some people that dropped off some of these old um, jars, and these jars were made from um, are, are just jars that are makeup jars. So what better way to recycle than put them into the landfill so we can use them in ways. So when you go to put your stuff, like uh, um, say we went and we put something down there like that, Let's see, I'll bring it down about here. But you go to do that. What you do is you rub this this way. And then what that happens is that you don't have to um, basically um, do this and keep going back and everything else. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these. So simple. You're going to say, why didn't I think of that, right? So I had um, Sandy went and dropped off a few of these jars for me. So I... I said I'd make one and I completely forgot about it. So anyways, another thing I'm just going to say right now before I forget is that you could also use these for other things like water. You keep some embellishments in there as well. But let me show you. How simple is this? Let's go here. We're going to get this from the dollar store. They're just the floor protectors. I'm going to come in. I think it's going to be this size. I'm thinking it's this size. We don't know. Maybe I'll take this size out too. And I'll just take one of those. And hopefully this will work. Now that's a little too big there. So this, hmm. you know, I think what I'll do is I'll take this like this. And what I'll do is I'll trace this off and then I'll cut it. So let me just go and I will trace that. Just come in with a pen. Now I'm going to go to one edge. And I'm just going to go in like this. And we're just going to trace that around there. And I'm just going to cut on the inside of this part here. So I've got my ribbon scissors. And all I'm doing is just cutting around here. Normally, if you have another size um, jar, it will work perfectly. Um, but you know what? This will be great. So just like that, good size. All right, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And then all you're going to do is with this, and this has got a really good stick on it, all we're going to do is stick this like this. How simple is that? And you know what? I didn't even have to. I thought for once I was going to have to actually go and maybe use some um, of the liquid glue, but it's not required. Now check this out. You say this was sent to me, but this one will be good too. So let me just go. I'll show you what this does. I'm just going to come in with my um, magnet there. And I'm just going to ink this up. 
let's see. I think I'll just use a black on there. And it doesn't, I'm, I'm just doing this for the sake of showing you how to do this. So, and the best way to do this actually on your stamp rat is to th throw that piece down there or like a stamp pad right underneath it. Let's go like that. I'm just going to throw this over like this. I'm going to come in with our freshly made Chucky or Peggy. Because really, it was Peggy that told me how to do this. I'm just going to, and it just is so much, it just gives you an even thing. Now, I see where I've got some missing right there. This is a big image, so it's a little bit harder to do. But imagine if I had to do that just with putting my hands down. So let's just go like that. Let's ink it up again. Just like that. Come in with this. Rub back and forth. And there we go. Like I say, if I had done that this way, so let's just show you. If I had inked that up, let's go in and let's just press that down. And it takes a lot more work. So much easier if I just come in with this. And like I say, you're using recycled stuff except for this where you got from the dollar store. So like I say, make one, give one to your friend. And there you have it. There's your Chucky. So I hope you liked that. I hope that was a helpful hint for you. And um, yeah. So um, until later, this will be just something that's put on there. It wasn't live or anything like that. But um, have a great night. Bye for now.